Okay, in this video, we're going to be factorizing some quadratics. I'm going to be using something which I like to call the cancelling method. Before we start, though, I'm just going to label the coefficients of my quadratic. I'm going to label the 4 in front of the x squared as a. I'm going to label the negative 16 as b. And I'm going to label the positive 15 as c. So the first step to this method is to find two numbers that multiply together to make a times c. So 4 times 15, which is 60. I also want the same two numbers to add together to make b, which in this case is negative 16. The numbers I'm looking for in this case are negative 10 and negative 6. The next step is to write two pairs of brackets. And in each pair of brackets, I'm going to write 4x. If you've not seen this method before, you might be thinking 4x multiplied by 4x would give me 16x squared, which is four times bigger than what I want. However, what you'll see in a minute is that some terms will cancel, which will leave us with 4x squared. The next step is to simply take these two values we found and put them into the brackets. So negative 10 and negative 6. It doesn't actually matter which way around you put them. The final step is to cancel out the factor of 4 that we don't want. We can do that from either bracket or both. In this case, the terms in the first bracket have a common factor of 2. So we'll divide both terms by 2. That gives us 2x minus 5. In the second bracket, we also have a common factor of 2, so we'll divide that one by 2 as well, and we get 2x minus 3. And that's our answer. Can you see how at no stage did we have to decide whether it was 2x and 2x or 1x and 4x? Nor did we have to decide whether it was minus 5 and minus 3 or the other way around. When you use this method, everything just falls into place. Let's apply the same method to b. We want two numbers that multiply together to make a times c, in this case, 8 times negative 3, which is negative 24. The same two numbers need to add together to make b, which is negative 10. This time, the numbers we want are negative 12 and positive 2. Let's set up some brackets. We'll start with 8x in both brackets. And we'll add in our numbers, negative 12 and 2. At the moment, this will be a factor of 8 too large, so we need to look to cancel. From the first bracket, we can find a factor of 4. So let's divide both parts by 4. That gives us 2x minus 3. In the second bracket, we have a factor of 2. So let's divide by 2. That gives us 4x plus 1. And that's our answer. OK, I'm now going to put two problems on the screen for you to try. Pause the video and then come back and check your answer against mine. Welcome back. Here's my solution then. If you got them right, well done. Move on to the next example. If not, I'm going to go through my solution now. To begin with, we want two numbers that multiply together to give a times c, which is 36. We want the same two numbers to add together to give b, which is 13. The numbers we want this time are 4 and 9. Initially in the brackets, we'll put 4x. And we have positive 4 and positive 9. We need to cancel out a factor of 4. In the first bracket, we can divide the whole thing by 4. So we end up with x plus 1. And there's nothing that will cancel in the second bracket. So we'll leave that as 4x plus 9. In part b, we want two numbers that multiply together to make 12 times negative 3, which is minus 36. We also want the same two numbers to add to give us b, which is positive 16. The numbers we're looking for are 18 and negative 2. 
let's put the information into some brackets. We've got 12x in each bracket. And we've got positive 18 and negative 2. We can cancel a factor of 6 out of the first bracket. That gets us to 2x plus 3. And we can cancel a factor of 2 out of the second bracket, which gets us 6x minus 1.